Hey guys, I Device Help here, and today I wanted to cover iOS 10.3 Beta 5. I didn't get a chance to cover it last week. I was out on vacation. I was back today, uh, this evening, and actually I wanted to share a few things with you guys, and I wanted to go ahead and uh, make this video to show you some of the things I've noticed about iOS 10.3 in the last couple of days. Now, if you want to watch my review on iOS 10.3, uh, that's going to be linked in the description, but without further ado, let's take a look at some of the new things with an iOS 10.3 Beta 5. Now, as always, in this videos I like to show the current bill number and the latest bill number is 14E52698 that is the current bill number for beta 5 now what are the new changes what's new with iOS 10.3 beta 5 well uh, nothing new in terms of new features but there's new options I would like to say here on the CarPlay when you click here on the display options you still don't have the option to hide the stock applications but you can hide other third-party applications and add them and edit your screen here everything just seems to be flowing a lot nicer within the Apple CarPlay if you have an Apple CarPlay display unit on your vehicle uh, this is an option that's now flowing a lot better in my opinion everything just seems to be working really good with the latest beta now I do want to give a big shout out to Cameron here on Twitter after you download the new Apple support application from the App Store you can click on one of your devices and run a battery diagnostics directly on device so you can scroll down here right here where it says battery request service you can tap on there and then run a diagnostic it's going to open up a diagnostic application with an iOS pretty cool stuff you can go ahead and run this diagnostic on your device and as you can see there once the diagnostic is completed you'll get a test complete option right here or a test complete confirmation and it tells you if the battery has any issues at all so very awesome option there uh, within the new Apple support application that you can download from the App Store again uh, big props to Cameron on Twitter for sharing this one with me. Now, speaking of Twitter, uh, Twitter updated their application. This has nothing to do with iOS 10.3, but if you go into the Twitter settings uh, and you go under data usage here, uh, the Twitter application updated over the weekend to allow uh, storage management within application. You no longer would have to delete the Twitter application to clear media stored uh, within the application. You also have the option to web store data clear, uh, so the cache, the cookies, and all that good stuff can be cleared directly from application. Again, before you would have to delete the application hopefully more developers will adapt uh, this uh, kind of form factor or this a uh, new options that Twitter has added to the Twitter application where you can clear out cache and clear out uh, history inside of the application and things like that directly from the application without having to delete the application now I did want to show you guys a multi-core score performance with the Geekbench application on beta 5 uh, up top here's beta 1 2 3 4 and then five right below there. You can see there from beta four to beta five, single core score 3430 to 3471 on single core score. But take a look at the multi core score 5652 to a 5809. That is a really good improvement on the multi core performance with beta five. And I do want to say that does translate to the OS itself. It feels a lot snappier. I don't know what Apple did from beta four to beta five. But to me on my iPhone 7 Plus, it feels like a totally new operating system, a new iPhone. Believe it or not, from beta 4 to beta 5, at least that was my experience. And one more thing I wanted to update you guys on before I let you guys go. A Cydia Impactor has been updated. A lot of users on Windows were having issues. So the developer of Cydia Impactor and Cydia itself, Zurich, uh, developed a new version of Cydia Impactor or updated Cydia Impactor to fix any of the issues that you may be having while you're signing applications on Windows. Mac users were not affected so if you were having issues signing applications on your windows machine with impactor don't worry you weren't the only one again all you have to do is update the current version that you have installed or deleted and download the fresh version links are going to be in the description down below whether you guys have it i just wanted to film this quick video for you guys i got back we'll be back on schedule here in the next couple of days lots of videos coming your way of course like always be sure to stay tuned it's been i device help and i will catch you guys on the next one peace